Hi guys, welcome to the Java class. In today's session, we will learn how to create multiple classes in Java. So here you can see in the previous session, we have created a class car that contains some variables and some methods that together known as the member of a class. And this member of a class, we have accessed inside a main method with the help of an object of a class car, right? So if you will observe here, there is only one class that contains lots of information. It is displaying the color and model, and it is checking the vehicle is electric or not. So sometimes the class contains multiple informations, and it is very difficult to understand if you will write everything inside a class. So sometimes it will become a little bit complex. So now I will show you how to organize the data among different classes. So let us learn how to create multiple classes and access the data from multiple classes. So let us create the new class, go to new, and here is a class. So let me create a, a class name that is a test drive and it is a main class and i will just finish on it so this test drive class is created that contains the main function let me create a class that is the engine class right that will display the information of the engine on it, right so here just i am adding the variable that is int force power that will display the engine power and I will just display the information of the engine type here. So I am just defining some variable string type that will display the type of the engine. And I am adding a method void display engine info, right? So this is a method which will display the information of the engine so i will write system.out.print ln and here i can just display the information of the engine so how will you display the information of the engine you can just display engine type is what so it is present inside a variable that is a type and you can display the horsepower right horse power this is horsepower and you can write the variable horsepower right so this is a class that is engine so this you can see this sep this class is a very separate class that contains the information of an engine so now come to the test drive card or if you would like to utilize this information which is present inside the car class engine so how will you use so first you will just create an object of the engine class so you will create an object of the engine class that is my engine here is equal new engine right so this is the engine object you have created so my engine dot horsepower you can access that is horsepower or you can provide the some value to it that is for example the horsepower is 250 in the similar way you can provide my engine dot the type you can provide the type is for example this is v8 engine right so this is the way how to access the data of a class engine in a separate class that is a test drive class so generally this is the exact way to write it the main class is a simple driver class that will utilize the data which is present in the different classes so this is the way to bundle your data and the functions together into a class type that is the engine right now you can just use the object my engine and you can just call the function that display engine information and just using this test drive class you will save and you will just run it and you can see that output engine type is v8 and horsepower is 250 
So this is the way to create the multiple classes in Eclipse and to access the data which is present inside the class. In the similar way, you can create some another class also. So here you can see that we have created a class car. This is a class car. That is, I will write here the class car is that part. Over here, you can add some data inside it. So data inside it, again, you can write here that that is string. That is the model here. You can write the model or you can write the end. The year of manufacturing, you can write. The model year, you can write here, right? So this is a class that contains some data. In the similar way, you can just add a method void void car or we can say display car information right we can add a method inside it that is a display car information and you can use this statement to display the information which is present inside the car so here you can display that is a car model or you can write the model plus you can display the year right or you can display the year so this is the car class you have created and you can see the very interesting thing is it is showing the compiler is complaining something here right so the car what is the complaint here type car is already present already defined inside the default package so in in one package you can't have two classes with the same name so we can change this part that is a car one we can do it right so now if you will just use the car one the compiler will stop complaining and here you will not get any error right so in the similar way you can create an object of a car one and you can just access the car one detail here right so car one my car one is equal new car one and now using an object my car one dot model you can provide here right you can provide the model like model is equal you can provide some model like pod Mustang here, right? This is the model you have provided. Then my car one dot year, you can access it and you can provide it is 2020 or 2024. You can write now with the help of my car dot, you can display the car information here and your program is completed now. So this is your driver class where you are just accessing the data of different classes. The data is bundled together here. So this is a car one class that contains information of the car and this is an engine class that contains the information of the engine class. Now let us just run this program and you will see the output here. Here we go. You can see the car model is Ford Mustang and year is 2024. So in the similar ways you can create multiple classes right in eclipse or in the driver class that is known as the main class you can access the data of all these classes by creating their objects so now this is the exercise for you you can create one two or three more classes here and create their objects add some data inside it and just access their data inside the driver class that is the main class so this is for the day guys in the next session we will come with some new topics thank you bye bye for now good night